There are two famous ways of implementing web services. One is the SOAP based and the other one is RESTful. From this presentation, you will learn which one you should use depending on the requirements you have. I'm going to list out a few differences and advantages of each of these approaches. They are not all of them, but a few important ones. In the SOAP based approach, we have the SOAP overhead. We have the SOAP envelope, SOAP body, SOAP header, etc., which is an overhead along with the actual message payload. In case of RESTful, we only deal with the actual message that has to be exchanged, the actual XML message that should be exchanged. So if we are developing applications for which are consumed by mobile applications, then it's our PDAs, it's good to use RESTful services. Using SOAP-based services, it's easy to define the contact between two parties, which is very important, especially in web services, because they are loosely coupled. Using WSDL, it's easy in case of SOAP based web services to define a standard contract. Whereas uh, in RESTful, it used to be difficult, but starting 2.0, WSDL 2.0, they have provided support even for RESTful services. It hasn't picked up that much, but it's getting popular. Key for using SOAP based services is WS standards. If you have a lot of non functional requirements like security, transaction management, etc., instead of we as a developer doing all that, you can rely on the web services frameworks which provide support for web services standards like web services security, transaction management, etc., which are based on the SOAP envelope. So the SOAP envelope, each standard defines that a particular set of elements can go into the SOAP header. For example, for security, standard username token profile standard they define username and password which should go into the soap header so that is an important piece which is uh, only for the which is uh, which support which is supported only for the soap based services there are a few standards around restful but they are not based on the soap envelope so if you have some non functional requirements like that you will have to come up with your own um, implementations for those non functional requirements like transaction management security etc Finally, the default or de facto standard for exchanging messages is XML in case of SOAP based services. Whereas in uh, RESTful, we have support for XML, JSON, etc. We can do JSON in SOAP based services, but most of the RESTful web services implementations come with these implementations by default. So your web applications, your UIs can easily consume uh, JSON and uh, display them to an end user. So if you want to expose out or use your uh, so RESTful based services for your web application development, it's quite easy to do that because it has inbuilt support for JSON. So I will list out a few more uh, important differences and uh, other things which will help you to make a decision whether to go for SOAP based or uh, RESTful services. But the key here is SOAP has the XML or uh, SOAP based overhead which again it helps in non-functional requirements because WS standards are based on that overhead. And also to define a strict contract between two parties, it's easy to do it when we use SOAP based web services. Most of the applications in the industry are moving towards REST and uh, I think these two differences here are the only ones uh, which really ask you to stay with SOAP. Otherwise, uh, as you could see Google, Yahoo, uh, most of them are using RESTful services.